let's start with the DXY on the weekly chart, and then we'll move to <coughs> we'll move to the to all the pairs, and then we filter out like a top six or a top ten, depending on uh, how many pairs that we get. Now. So on the weekly chart, we have that's high here and the overall low, and then we have this overall ascending channel here. And then moving to the lower time frame, I won't use like this one here. No? I won't click this one just because the price action is. Hello, King. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Hello? Yeah, I can hear you. Hello, King. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Hello? Yeah, man, I can hear you. Okay, so let's begin. Uh, moving to the daily time frame. On the on the last leg, we're at the top of the structure, as you can see here, and then we have like an ascending channel. Yeah, and then remember, guys, we are correlating everything with the DXY. All these USD pairs, we are correlating it with the DXY, right? And then I can just so I can just remove this one here. And then after removing it, we have this overall ascending channel. And then we have the 90% rule around that area. So I have like an area also around this area. So I was thinking that uh, the DXY will just push to the downside and then push back up to reach like this area here. And then that's when we will get like those selling opportunities. But if we don't get that, then it's cool. We can just... Uh, analyze for continuations to the downside continuations to the downside then we get like uh, some dollar weakness and then let's check the four hour so on the four hour we are just going to look at this area around here and let me just uh, cater for everything and then if you have like any question you can just ask me we have this ascending channel on its own and then we have this pattern on its own around here. And then we have another pattern on its own around oh, here. Okay. So this is pattern separation. Now you separate everything. And then now we are looking at this area here as an impulse to the downside. And then this would be like the corrective move to go to the downside. So on the power chart, let's check the hour. On the hour, we have this high here. And we have like some type of a pattern around this area here. But what we're going to do is that, is that we're going to be neutral with every pair. Né? We're just going to be neutral with every pair. You just analyze every pair on its own. You won't correlate too much. Né? And then we can look for those uh, dollar weaknesses around this area here to hit like the overall 90% rule around here and then if we break like the overall structure of which the market can just break the overall structure and then we get like reversals to push to the upside then we change like our bias on each and every uh dollar related pain eh? you understand it right, guys yes yeah, if i have break, a question yeah you can ask Okay, so as soon as we break to the upside, yeah, can we cater for uh, that another level as a mass psychology area for selling opportunities for around 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 this area here? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we can get that uh, like a double top, and then we get like some type of an ascending channel all the way to the top, and then we look for selling opportunities from there. Yeah, you're right. Man. Can't get Okay, that. okay. Yeah. So everyone can see the screen. Eh? Yeah. I don't know uh, what's wrong with wisdom, but wisdom, check your check your setup, man. Now everyone can see the screen except you. Then let's move to USDJPY. Now we begin with all the pairs, man. The weekly chart. 
and then try and zoom out. I don't know what's happening with my shots, now, guys, but we have like, I don't have like price action from the past. Around this area here, I don't have like any price action. So let's focus on this area here. That's the overall ascending channel. Around here, like this. And the overall 90% rule. And then from the daily, we have like a pattern extension. Now. You can you can just put it like this if you want. I mean, I would like to put it like this, just to cater for each and every pet, each and every touch. Now. And then we have like a pattern extension. And then the reason we call it like a pattern extension, it's because it just pierced to the upside and then came back into the market structure. Now. So that is why it's called like a pattern extension. And then let's do this. And then on that pattern extension, we have this ascending channel at the top of the structure like this and then if you cater for the touches and then we have like this one there's two as an ms and then we have like the third touch né? and then the overall 90 percent rule around there né? we just remove those the overall 90 percent and then our target or our bias on this one would be for to get like selling opportunities up until here and then if we break structure and get continuations then we look forward to like the overall third touch just because we have this as our first touch here this is our second and then we can expect the third touch around this area here now so let me just uh, remove a few of those oh, sorry about that guys we'll just do this so this is our overall bias and then the dxy is pointing to the downside we have like a continuation that is showing us that we will get like selling opportunities so if we correlate like with this one here then we get like those nice sales now yeah, let me just do this so now we focus like on this area here on the four hour so on the four hour most of the time we check for momentum and obviously there is momentum on this one obviously there is momentum and let me just remove that and then on the hour this is where we get like those entries those so if we get like an entry around here would be at this area here just because uh the dxy has to evolve also so we can just wait for a clear push to the upside a corrective mover and then we get like some type of a continuation pattern and then we look for cells at the top of the structure at the top of the structure maybe with like a reversal candlestick pattern or you wait for a clear push to the downside and then a six to eight hour tight flag now and then you look for those cells now let me just do this and we cater for everything so currently we have like this price action if we focus like on the current price action we have like this type of pattern happening and then i can just cater for this one here now. so on this one we wait for a clear evolved structure where we can see like clearly that we have like a clear one two and then a three and then that would be like uh something like of this nature something of this nature let me just remove that and now something of this nature something of this nature a, a more evolved structure would be something of this nature and then removing this one you get like a double top within there and then you get like a clear push down maybe you are in you're into risk entries then you take your entry at the top and then you're aiming for the overall 90 percent of this pattern as your first take profit for 4.6 and then for 12 percent at the overall 90 percent rule of this uh, ascending channel and then remember guys we don't use like take profits we just uh three last stops now so another entry would be like a tight flag and then you don't have to filter like on the five minute if you like to filter like on the five minute just because uh for you to filter on the five minute you just have to filter on the golden zone at the start of the impulsive movement of which it was around here this was the golden zone if you know like the refinement this was the golden zone around here but i'll show you like the golden zones and all of that stuff now 
So yeah, we can move on. You understand everything on this one? Yes. Mm-hmm. So let's move to USDC HF now. So <laughs> this one is three. Yeah, yeah. Let's move to the weekly <laughs> chart. Will you? And then on the weekly, we have this overall low here, and then we have this overall high here, of which it was like a mass psychology area. And then moving to the daily, we also have this area here, of which we have a double bottom. And then it's pushing to the upside. It's telling us like the market direction will be to the upside. And then USDJPY is telling us that we look for selling opportunities. So that that's why I was saying that we just have to uh, analyze everything on its own and just wait and see if we get like those nice entries. So we have like this ascending channel around here. This nice ascending channel around here. And then on the four hour chart, we have a pattern. Let me just do this. And that was the mass psychology area, right? And then we just have to focus like on this pattern here. Yeah. And then another thing that you should be aware of, guys, is that we are at the red zone. Even if I move like this ray line from here to here, we are already at the red zone. So we can get like a more evolved pattern. Yeah, instead of selling opportunities, we get like a more evolved pattern of which we will get like selling opportunities from here to here. Guys, avoid uh making noise, ne? If you have like if you're busy with something, just mute your just mute your uh your device on your side so that you can just hear us and then we won't hear like uh what you're doing, ne? Okay, I have a question. Okay. So on the red zone. Yeah. If we get a, a clear tight flag for continuations, then what do we do? You don't take it. On the red zone, we okay. only get we, we only get like larger flags. Ma'am. We get larger oh, flags. Okay. Same as on this one, ne? Uh let me just remove that and just show you something. Same on this one. Let me just do this. Uh where is that? A team two. Let me just cut it from here to here. Same on this one. As you can see here, you think that this is like a tight flag or something, ne? And then you saw what happened, ne? So you think that this is a tight flag, even if like you are not tagged in, but sometimes you will get tagged in and out, ne? Okay. Yeah. The only way you can take like uh like a trade like on the red zone, you just have to wait for the market to impulsively break structure. Let's say like it, it has broken structure in this type of manner, and then you get like a tight flag from this point here. Then this is where you can take yeah. like an entry. But when it's playing around like that uh, area, you don't take like any entry now. Just wait. Okay, there. okay. Yeah. But I'll show you, I'll show you, don't worry. So on this one, we get like a more evolved structure that will go in line with the DXY. Ne? So I'll just remove this here and then you just put like a ray line. Uh, I can just put like a ray line around here and then we get like a more evolved structure. Something of this nature. Something of this nature and then I'll just remove this one. And then if you are uh if you're still uh learning or if you're still uh conser- 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 conservative with your uh, analysis you can just wait for a clear, a clear push down and then a clear push down and then a tight flag and then you take your entry around s8 and then you are aiming for the overall 90 percent rule of which that's around here now and then catering for both sides if we just decide to push to the upside of which that may happen then we wait for a clear let me just do this
this. Now let me just remove these ones here so that you don't get confused. Okay, cool. So on this one, we wait for a clear push to the upside and then a tight flag, or we can wait for a larger flag on the amber zone. Eh? And then on the amber zone, it would be like just around this area here. 